Hello everyone, this is Namrata. Today we'll be discussing another topic in Salesforce which is Salesforce macros. Let's think what all tasks an agent has to perform like he or she has to go ahead and update a case status, select an email template and send out certain emails to the customers, update multiple cases which has common issues like password research. So all of these tasks are repetitive tasks and takes a lot of his or her manual time. But now with the help of this macro, all of these can be done in a single shot. Macro is a very powerful automation tool which is mainly used for the repetitive task. It is a set of instructions that tells the system how we can go ahead and complete a specific task. This macro helps your team to save a lot of time, add consistency and increase the productivity. With the help of this macro, we can go ahead and perform multiple actions on different parts of a case fee at the same time. There are certain prerequisites. One is you have to add the macro utility in the Lightning app and you have to go ahead and provide certain permissions to the users based upon the need. We'll see what and all are those permissions. If at all the user need a read, then you have to go ahead and enable this read on the macros. If they need create and edit, you have to provide a create and edit access on the macro object. If users need to run multiple run macros on a multiple records, then you have to enable run macros on a multiple records. If users need to create and run irreversible macros, then this is the access or the permission that you have to go ahead and enable this. We will see how we can go ahead and enable these two macros specifically. And let us understand what is this irreversible macros. Irreversible macros are some macros that performs actions that can't be undone, such as sending outbound emails to the customers or updating a case status. A macro that contains a submit action instruction is called as an irreversible macros. For in order to have or in order to use this irreversible macros, have you have to have the manage macros users can't undo permission. So let us see what and all are these permissions and how we can go ahead and enable those permissions for that specific user. So now I am opening my Salesforce uh, Lightning Developer org and let me go to my permission sets. Because I have went ahead and created a permission set called as a macro user permission set, wherein I have went ahead and enabled those two permissions which I was talking about. So this is the permission which I have created macro user. If users need to have those uh, permissions, then you have to give that specific, this, uh, this particular permission set to the users. Under the app permissions, you will see manage macros can't undo. So this is mainly used for irreversible instruction. So you have to go ahead and enable this. And then if you wanted to have the bulk macros that is run macros on the multiple records, then you have to go ahead and enable this. All this will be available under the app permissions. And then if based upon your need, if a pro user need this permissions, then go ahead and assign this particular permission set to that uh, those specific users. So from the home tab, let's see if we have any certain settings for macros. Under the process automation, you see macro settings. So based upon your need, if you wanted to share and organize the macros in a specific folder, then go ahead and enable this. And if you wanted to search all the macro text fields, then go ahead and enable this. If you based if you want, you can go ahead and enable either one of these two as well. And then go ahead and click on save. Now let us see how we can go ahead and add the utility that is a macro utility in your Lightning app. So from the from the home tab under the setup home in the left hand side quick find box you have to search for app manager interface you'll see something called as an app manager so you have to go to your app which you have created so i went in and created an app called as a lightning service console app try to edit that particular app And go ahead and go to your utility items and see whether you have this micros for the first time you will not be having this micros if you don't have that then you have to click on this add utility items from the standard uh, components which is available go ahead and use uh, check the macros and apply that micro you try to use that and once that is done try to click on save so we went there now let us see 
how our console looks like. Let's go to our cases and open up any specific case and you, you see whether you see that particular macros or not. At the bottom of the page, you see um, macros being added to the console. Now, let us see how we can go ahead and create a macro. And let's discuss what is our use case. The use case is, if at all a customer go ahead and raises a high priority case, and support agent receives those high priority cases, then support agent should go ahead and send out an email notification uh, for the users saying that a case we have received your urgent case and we are working on it and we'll be providing our next update in another two hours. So that is the use case. So we'll see how we can achieve this particular use case using the macros. So click on macros and go ahead and click on this plus button, create a macro. So we will go ahead and create a macro called as high priority case macro. Give any description. And uh, you wanted to apply this macro to which particular object? For my scenario, my use case is a case object. Based upon your requirement, you can go ahead and add uh, what and all are the objects available. Either it is a standard or the custom objects, you can go ahead and apply the macros to your respective object. For, for now, it is a case and let us go ahead and save it. Now, once you save it, you see uh, under the right hand side, the edit instructions button, click on the edit instructions. When you click on the edit instruction, macro builder page will get open. So wherein at the right hand side, you see the instructions wherein you go ahead and update your logic. And at the left hand side, you see the canvas that is the case page layout. So based upon that, you can go ahead and make a, uh, instructions accordingly add the instruction click on add instruction click add logic you can use if logic if else logic all of these based upon your requirement you can go ahead and use those logic now i'm adding a condition what is my condition if at all my case priority is equal to high then the email should be sent out to my customer so i went ahead and created a if logic now Hover onto this email, which is on the left hand side, the case page layout. As soon as you hover onto that email, you see that on the right hand side, an email select email action has been, it is showing. So now under that, click on insert email template. I have created an email template called as a high priority email template. Use that. And here you see that what is the subject, what is the description of that particular email. All of that is being shown up in the uh, left hand side, or, sorry, right hand side. And now you have to go ahead and send this particular email to the customer. Now, when you hover onto the send, here you see that submit action is being displayed. So this is how we went ahead and created our macro. Now let us go ahead and save this macro. And let us see if my macro is working fine or not. Let me go to my case tab my console, go to any specific case or let us try to create a new case from the cases tab. So I am going ahead and creating a case, filling all the uh, fields, mandatory fields that are needed. I am selecting the priority is equal to high and the case origin is equal to web and I'm trying to give a subject my priority. Now, a support agent has received this particular case and he asked he or she has to go ahead and send out an email notification. So, he, the support agent wanted to use this specific macro. So, he goes to the macro section which is available in this particular page and he, he or she look out for the respective macro and he tries to run that specific macro. Here you see the macro is being applied in the background without he or she, without the support agent has to go ahead and manually enter the subject, enter the description of the issue. What macro is doing, it is automatically going ahead and performing certain steps of actions, tasks which we have mentioned. So this is how the email is being sent to the customer. So all those updates will be shown under the post feed 
all updating. So here you see that what email has been sent to the customer and uh, the updates will be available. Now, when you go to the emails tab, here you see that the respective email has been sent to the customers. Now, when you click on this email action, it will show that at whatever the time the email has been sent to the specific customer. So in this way, you can go ahead and use the macros. And there is another feature in the macros. That is one is you can go ahead and run the macro on a single record. And the second thing is you can go ahead and run the macro on the bulk records. So bulk is at a time like increments of 10. So bulk macros are processed in the increments of 10 at the same time. At times you may receive thousands and thousands of cases and you would like to go ahead and send out certain notifications or emails to all of those um, cases. And all of those, we can go ahead and use the bulk macros and those macros will be processed in increments of 10 at each time. So that is that is how you can go ahead and use the bulk macros. So this is all about macros and uh, if at all you have any questions feel free to feel free to reach out to us and thank you so much for watching our videos have a good day